explain the sequence because scientifically this is a three-tiered energy production system. This is a linearization of that. This one has the north to the north on the inside and the coils are going like a U-turn on the uh, Trans Canada back and forth. Okay, so I turn this on. Now the interesting thing here is that this is 60,000 UFs. You see what I mean? So what we're charging here as it goes from 18 to 19 to 20 and on up you know to 30 and 40 and so on and so forth is enough to accelerate a small motor scooter two or three times you know from a stop sign okay so this will be mounted here you see I haven't had a chance to build another one so let's go to this one this is the wheel of your car okay okay the wheel of your car you may go back and forth which you're used to doing because you steer right and as you steer it charges the batteries right it charges a lithium-ion set of batteries that uh, will make you accelerate up to the speed where the air turbines and the other systems take over see it going up 11, 12, 13, and you can turn it from the inside too. Okay, but you can have as many as six of this more efficient system, or eight even, either in groups of four or two down your steering column. So basically, there's no problem, you're off the grid permanently. Okay, we've covered those two. And if you want to you photograph them here, this is the air turbines. And we've already videotaped those. This has got uh, generators on each end. And uh, it's quite, uh, quite straightforward. So these go where the bunker and the radiator are and at 8 amps a piece they produce 16 amps and around 52 to 56 volts. It's no great trick for me to, to hand build them and uh, engineering groups can improve it a great deal. Right? Now, we move on to the highly experimental roof unit because we've only produced half the energy needed to run the vehicle, right? The other half has to come from some other source and this is an air intake above your windshield and this is a newer model that I just finished that has never been tested. You see I'm using an air compressor to uh, simulate plus two fans. So I'm just going to try and give a brief demonstration of this one and then the other one for the very first time I'll demonstrate, right? And I don't know if it'll work but I'll explain. Yeah. This one starts moving back as 
soon as this one is pinned against the wall, it begins to return, right? As soon as uh, this one is pinned against the wall, it begins to return and then repeat the cycle. There! And that hasn't happened. So, so this is the first time since the invention of uh, electricity uh, generating power in 1860 or 890 or whatever for uh, uh, for the uh, magnets to be able to, to produce a current, you know, in real time that can drive a vehicle from 80 to 100 kilometers per hour. 100 kilometers per hour is adequate even for highway. I mean, that's uh, 60 and the speed limit is 50 or 55, right? Uh, but we have to phase out, first, the motor cars. All fuel cars should be banned from the road. And secondly, we have to sell tickets, you know, for phasing out electric cars. You know, all electric cars should be phased out starting next year on a 10-year plan. So that every vehicle on the, on the road in the world becomes a self-propelled fuel-less, battery-less uh, thing. 